Hi, I'm Katie Dahl, a forensic interview specialist with Zero Vs Project. Welcome to Child First Fridays. Today, I want to talk about dynamics of grooming and manipulation in child abuse investigations. Historically, children have been taught extensively about stranger danger as a form of child abuse prevention. Though studies consistently confirm that over 90% of children are abused by someone they know and likely love and trust. Many of these abusers use grooming strategies to gain and maintain access to a child with the intent to commit sexual abuse. Five common stages of the grooming process include victim selection, access establishment, trust development, desensitization to sexual content and physical contact, and maintenance following the abuse. Groomers will identify a victim that has vulnerabilities which make them easier to gain and maintain access to. An example of this may be a child who is struggling in school and has parents that work long hours into the evening. An offender may position themselves as a mentor to the child, gaining the trust of the child and the family. The offender then begins to slowly desensitize the child to sexual content, such as explicit language or materials, and physical contact ranging from innocuous behaviors like hugging or tickling to more intimate behaviors like massaging or lessons in masturbation. The groomer then uses tactics that require the child to maintain secrecy, which could range from promises of affection to threats of violence. In every forensic interview, you should explore the child's relationship with the offender. In some cases involving grooming, the child may not see themselves as a victim of a crime. So ask questions like, how did you two meet? Tell me what you know about them, or what do they know about you? What do you two do together or talk about? It's also important to explore all of the ways the child communicates with the offender and feelings they have regarding communication and contact. For more information on how these dynamics can affect your forensic interviews and investigations, visit our training catalog at zeroabuseproject.org and find our new topic, Considering Grooming and Manipulation in the Investigative and Judicial Process. Join us next month for another Child First Friday, and thanks for watching.